This video will show you how to use the table and prop table commands in R, which you can use to generate frequency distributions. The data that we're going to be working off of for this tutorial is the 2016 wave of the general social survey. So I'm going to just load all of that. And you can see that I now have a data frame object called GSS that's stored in my global environment. The first thing that we're going to do is just look at how we can create frequencies for a variable. So the way to do that is you just type table, open up parentheses, and then type the name of the data frame object here, GSS, and then a dollar sign because we're working inside it, and then type the name of the variable that you want. So in this case, let's say that we wanted to look at the variable marital, which just tells you the marital status of the respondents. So highlight that and run it, and then R will produce the frequencies for you. So you can see that there were 1,212 people that were married, and say 102 that were separated. That's really all that you need to create the raw frequencies. But most of the time, we also want to look at the proportions or percentages along with the raw frequencies. And we do that with the prop table command. In order to get there, the first thing that we're going to do is actually go back and modify this line that we started writing to create a new table object. To do that, we just will give it a name. I will call it marital table gets the result of running the table command. So if you run this, you're going to see I have a new object in my global environment over here called marital table. And if you look at the, at the console pane, it doesn't really appear that anything happened after running that command. You can always request R to print the results by just typing in the name of the table object. So if I just typed in marital table and then ran it, you'll see that it replicates exactly what we saw just before. Once you have that table object in place, then you can go and use the prop table command. So just type prop.table, and then inside that, just type the name of the table object that you just made, so marital table. And if you run that, you'll see that R will now produce proportions for that table. So uh, 0.4228804, where uh, that was the proportion of married and say uh, 0.28122819 were never married. Lots of times it's worth noting we also want to convert these to percentages and that's pretty straightforward. You just multiply prop table by 100. So just put an asterisk for multiply and then 100. And if you run this again, you'll see that R will now just convert it to percentages. So around 42.3% were married, 8.8% uh, were widowed, and so on. That's really all that there is to it to creating frequency distributions. The only thing that's really worth emphasizing is that uh, it's important to give prop table a table object. If you don't, so let's say that we just tried to feed it the raw variable, right? So prop table, GSS, dollar sign, marital, prop table isn't going to know what to do with it and will produce an error message as we see below, because it's you're trying to run math on things that are not appropriate for, um, for mathematics. Otherwise, as long as you give it a table object, there should be really no issues. And if you're unsure, if you uh, created a table object, you can always just check using class. So if I typed in class marital table, just like this, and then ran it, it'll return table, because that's the class of that object that we just made. 